Pisces, what is happening? Welcome to your energy update, Pisces. This is going to be a you versus them. So the person that you're thinking about romantically. Let's see here. What's their energy towards you? What's their energy towards you? And I am going to do an extended um, link will be down below on how this person views, feels about you and their next move towards you. I often don't get their next move towards you, but let's see here. So Pisces, what's this person's energy towards you? What's this person's energy towards Pisces? Clear and concise messages. Clear and, clear and concise messages. This person's energy towards Pisces. This person's energy towards Pisces. This person's energy towards Pisces. This person's energy towards Pisces Collective. Okay, bottom of the deck, three of cups in the reverse. So this person, I'm feeling here the energy of some dense energy here from this person. There might have been something, a lack of communication, but the three of cups, right? Um, the, this person could be overindulging or they obviously feel a rift in the connection here. In the base of their reading here towards you, the fool in the reverse, what's helping or hindering them is the king of swords. So I feel here that almost they feel a little reckless and impulsive, but um they could be wanting to to take action but then something stops them right and i feel here what stops them is their mind and them not doing what they say they're going to do right them not taking action and and, and being about what they say okay it's like almost like their mind psychs them out their conscious mind here at the star they want they have this wish that maybe things could uh kind of take place with you guys also here like they want rejuvenation in in this connection they're very much hoping for something here we're going to clarify and i feel here like they see you as this star as like this balanced person here we're going to clarify like it's it's interesting because this is like at the center this stands out this star and it's like they're thinking whatever situation here with you is really pushing them and urging them here subconsciously they they hold a lot of weight a lot of you know, maybe they said, I'm not necessarily, I don't know why I thought of that, lies. They said some lies to you or won't, weren't honest with you. And that's really having, uh, weighing heavy on their conscience, you know, or, or things here that happened in the past. I feel here, and this card kind of flipped out, kind of did a, a turnaround. This is a recent past, and I did lay it out in the reverse, Six of Pentacles. So I feel like this person wanted to give but didn't give in some sense. And like, that's what's weighing heavy for them. Maybe they feel like, okay, it's too late or like, um, or something of the sort here. Their next move, Queen of Swords in the reverse. So they're feeling a little, maybe, they're, they're feeling maybe a little bit bitter, maybe resentful towards you a little bit overly critical of themselves and of the situation okay and sometimes you know when there's, there's so much energy building it's a thin line between like wanting and, and loving someone and then turning into anger okay so that's kind of what i'm feeling they're how they see themselves eight of pentacles in the reverse they're not putting the the work they know they're not doing the work here when it comes to you in their environment which would signify you the five of cups they're seeing you as coming out of any grief of any sorrow here like you pulled yourself together okay pulled yourself together and gaining inner peace and you know what's crazy for some of you you know that moment when you move on and they can feel it energetically that's what actually hurts the most right the thing is that they might you might be dealing with someone and, and not necessarily but for some of you that, that they might be showing or wanting to excessively excessively prove right like by their actions or their social posts i'm good you know like they're out having a good life and you're maybe you're a little retracted okay i'm gonna be quiet i'm gonna get myself together energetically because i know that's the real name of the game okay and then when this person feels your shift like because it's felt right even if you're not near them you you feel it it's like a release and you really don't care then that's what kind of irks the most okay their hopes and fears they fear that there's going to be some sort of, you know, slow down. Like the ships are not going to come in, you know, maybe, you know, maybe this is not going to, they, they, they were as comfortable, you know, they were too comfortable maybe, or really made some sort of move and, and thought that you would, you know, maybe still be there or, 
or something of the sort, right? But their perceptions about their ships coming in in regards to you didn't play out how they thought it would, okay? And the outcome, eight of cups in the reverse, being unable to move away from something or feeling stuck in a sense, Yeah, I feel here like they know or they're, this person subconsciously knows, right? There's these seven cups here. I'm sorry, five. This is eight. Three, five, six. There's six. Sorry, guys. Okay, I'm seriously, my mind is right. <laughs> five, six, six, seven, eight. I don't know what's happening here right now but these cups these six cups over here they are face down right and there's one turned over and then there's one cup one cup that is standing there that that they know that this is the cup that they maybe want to take or like they know all their cups really are not good options and it's time to move forward but this person could be resisting that because of these feelings coming up for them in their next move right resentful this this energy here of overly critical right too much being too much in their head with these air um signs let's do some clarifying let's do some clarifying what is this person's conscious mind what is this star what is this star this person's conscious mind towards pisces Conscious mind towards Pisces. I can't believe my counting on that. Jeez. Pisces. What's, what's this person's eight of wands? They want movement and communication. Yeah. I feel here like this person absolutely maybe wants you to reach out to them. Okay. Um, you know, they're feeling a little passive aggressive. Like they, a little frustration with the Knight of Swords. Like they want to rush in, but they, they hold themselves back here. And it's like, they know there's a, a missed opportunity here. They feel like there's going to be a missed opportunity here. They have this wish and they want it to pick up. Um, and they know they're about to miss this train. So they're a little bit frustrated. There's a little bit of agitation in regards to this opportunity here with you. But it's like they're letting it slip away. They're not yet ready, right? And what they're not yet ready, I'm not saying they're not yet ready, but there's a lot coming up, right? Before we're, before they're able to take this opportunity with you or vice versa here. You gotta make sense of that. Let's do some clarifying. What is this queen of swords in the reverse? Queen of swords in the reverse. This is, into, this is a new energy because I, yeah, this is a new energy and we're gonna do some clarifying, but the energy has shifted. Queen of swords in the reverse. What is this queen of swords in the reverse? for this person's next move towards Pisces. Gemini. Gemini, so this person could be a Gemini. There's a lot of air here. The moon in the reverse. Temperance in the reverse. So I feel here, okay. I feel here also for some of you, I'm saying this person might manifest a divorce with someone, okay. This person here might manifest a divorce or this person is, is um, that's for very slim, some of you, okay? Because the queen of swords could be a, a divorced person, woman as well, okay? Someone here that's ending a relationship, someone here is stepping up and shifting that. But also I feel like this person wants to shift a situation with you and they're coming to some more mental clarity that at first might hit them and they have to make sense of that. What do I mean? First one that when you get an upgrade, it's almost like it triggers you, right? And gives you all sorts of triggers until you make peace with it, you know, but then, but th that's this clarity coming in. It needs to be balanced, okay? So that's part of that. Let's see, how, why does this person see themselves as the eight of, of pentacles in the reverse? Why does this person see themselves as the eight of pentacles in the reverse? We have two eights. Three eights, eight of wands, eight of pentacles, eight of cups in the reverse. So th this could be like a karmic situation for this person. 
Um, this is a cycle, right, that is now being highlighted so much more with you, right, at this time. But this is a karmic cycle that this person is being pushed uh, to walk away. Like, they have certain things in their environment, whatever. But this is, like, the base energy towards you. I feel here nine of wands in the reverse. Um, at the bottom of the deck, clarifying the eight of pentacles in the reverse. I feel like this person is just low on reserves, really. They've, they've, their energy has been attacked. I don't feel like their energy here is too s stable mentally. I don't know why. Why does it say the pentacles in the reverse for how this person view uh, themselves? Yeah, this person uh, is trying to rejuvenate. They're trying to rest up. Four of swords. This person's trying to rest up. They know they need balance here. In your environment, which is signify you, what is this five of cups in the reverse? What is this five of cups? What is this five of cups for how they view for Pisces in their environment here? That could possibly you five of cups. Nine of pentacles and king of wands. Yeah, so this person here views you as maybe right now you are taking a break or you're not being like working excessively or you're working less of some sort, something of the sense. Maybe you're not like, you know, um trying to lead uh, the situation i don't know something about work here and you focusing more on your emotional stability here with the nine of pentacles you still being abundant and thriving you not needing to right now right it's like you are good it's like you're not missing that that energy right? You're focused more on you. This could be the external person here, like you're coming out of. This could be a fire sign. This could be an air sign. I'm getting a lot of fire and air in this reading. Outcome, and then we're going to go to the extended and see what this person is viewing you and feeling about you. This is a little mm, testy. Eight of cups in the reverse. What's the outcome here for this person in regards to Pisces? This person in regards to Pisces. Eight of cups in the reverse. This person in regards to Pisces. Five of Wands, they do want to come out of conflict, right? But are they going to speak up? Ten of Cups, and, and it came out, oh, okay. Yeah, Ten of Cups, and it came out sideways in the Nine of Swords. So this is an interesting way to leave it. This person actually wants to come towards this situation really so bad, and I feel like it's gotten, it, it's heavy. It's heavy um, here. And but they, they want to come out of conflict with you, and they have a lot of, anxiety you know and it's it's like a lot of grief here like they feel like they're about to m miss their wish fulfillment miss this opportunity miss this wish here that they have with you oh yeah pisces let's take this over to the extended let's see what your person how they're viewing you how they're feeling about you and their next moves towards you in this very interesting transformative time see you there bye